Welcome back. It is 640 and THV 11 is your Eclipse Central. Now, Monday's eclipse is a massive day for Arkansas with much of our state in the path of totality. It is also a big day for NASA with such a major event happening in the skies. And Wake Up Central is glad to welcome Kristen Weaver from NASA live with us from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center near DC. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We'll get right to it. Explain if you would what a total solar eclipse is and how this one is different from the eclipse in 2017. Yeah, good morning. So uh, an eclipse is a solar eclipse is when the moon comes in between the earth and the sun and the moon exactly blocks the sun uh, and in totality, as you'll get in Arkansas, completely blocks out the disk of the sun so you can see the corona. And the difference between this and 2017, it's a wider eclipse path which means more people are in the path of totality. It's a little bit of a longer period of totality. And the moon is actually, or sorry, excuse me, the sun is in a more active period. So the, the corona may have some more interesting features uh, this, this year compared to 2017. Well, Kristen, this is so exciting for us and of course NASA as well. Only time really you can see the outer atmosphere of the sun with your own eyes. So what will scientists be looking for on Monday? Yeah, so this is a unique opportunity. Uh, we have things called coronagraphs that allow us to look at the corona other times, but they block a little bit of the lower level of the corona. So this really allows scientists to see all of the corona and, and do some experiments also with the effect of the eclipse on the Earth's atmosphere, including in the upper atmosphere and the ionosphere. So you are the deputy coordinator on the Globe Observer Project. Tell us about that project and how your team is getting ready. Yeah, so we're an earth science project. We're actually a citizen science project. So what we're asking people to do is with the Globe Observer app and the Eclipse tool, take observations of air temperature and clouds during the eclipse, during the entire period of the eclipse. And we're looking at changes uh, in the atmosphere during the eclipse. Well, Kristen, we have to ask, where will your team be viewing the eclipse? Because for sure you can come to Arkansas. Well, you know, I am in fact actually getting on a plane later this afternoon, this evening, and I am going to be down. I'm doing some events with Hot Springs National Park and in hey. Hot Springs. So I'm actually headed your direction in just a few hours later today. The spa city turning into the sun city this Monday. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. That's great. OK, so let me ask, what are you most excited for on Monday? Well, uh, you know, an, an eclipse is an amazing experience. I got to see the eclipse in 2017 from, from um, Nebraska, so I'm excited for that. But also, I love that we're involving so many people in collecting data with NASA and doing citizen science projects like Globe Observer, one called Eclipse Soundscapes that looking at animal behavior. I just love getting people involved in doing science, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Now, I'm going to leave you not with an eclipse question, but have you ever been to Arkansas? Are you looking forward to seeing anything down here besides the eclipse? I am. I actually, my husband's family is from there. Come so on. I'm actually hey, looking forward to not just seeing the eclipse, but seeing some family members. So yes, but always nice to visit. I've never been to Hot Springs, so. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Spa City. You're going to love it. You will absolutely love it. How fun was this? Business and pleasure. I love it. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for educating us a little more on this particular eclipse. We appreciate it. Kristen Weaver with NASA joining us live this morning. Hey, we may see you around Little Rock yeah, later yeah. today. We'll head to Garland County on Monday. Yeah, we'll see you there. there you go.